Good afternoon, my lovers. I am back out on that beautiful field. I tell you, what, the buttercups are getting even more stunning by the day. It is a lovely English meadow. All the wild flowers like this. This is a, a, a clover, type of clover. And there's just buttercups and clover it, as far as the eye can see. It's stunning. Right, less about the uh, wildlife and the flora and fauna and stuff like that. That noise you can hear is a horse. But I'm not going to show him because you might, you might recognise the location I showed the horse. And it's near to that uh, Saxon graveyard, so I'm not going to, definitely not going to show it. Right. I got a lovely signal over here. Ooh, it could be gold. Nice bit of gold to start the day. Ooh, 12.25. Could be a hammy. Could be. A hammy on my first hole. I think I would prefer gold. Hammered gold. Right there. Hammered gold. Oh, what's that? I can feel something hard. No, no, don't want to force it in case it breaks. It looks like it might be an artifact. Oh, did I hit it? Hope not. Oh, is it a spoon handle? It is a spoon handle. A pewter spoon. Any marks on it? Let's give it a rub on the magic trousers. Not that I can see. Right, a spoon. On to the next. Oh, I've got a bit of a nifty one here. Yeah, it's there somewhere. It's a bit iffy. It's a bit iffy this one. Right there. <gasps> oh my god, is that silver? Or is it a pesky button? Oh, it's a pesky button hook. Oh, you bugger. I saw that silver glint then, and I thought it was silver, but it is a very shiny pesky button. Look at that. Look at how clean that is. Probably been in the ground for 200 years and it is gleaming. Ugh, what a letdown. On to the next. Oh, I got a lovely signal here. Like a coin. It looks like a coin. Oh, it's a bit smooth. I can't see a date. Oh, 1840 something, I think. Can you see the date? 1840 something? So that's going to be Queen Victoria. And it is. There she blows. Good day to you, Mum. Right, on to the next. 
Discord got a lovely signal here. Oh, 12.23. Drop to twelve twenty one. Oh. oh, it's banging. Twelve twenty. It's right here. Oh, let's get round this way a bit. It's right there. Oh, what's that? Hey, what is that? Oh, oh, that looks like a stylus. That could be Roman. That's my first bit of Roman, if it is. Yeah, that's what I think it might be. It's been made, look. It's got a flat end. It's been scooped out slightly. Yeah, I think this is a stylus. Right, it's either medieval or Roman. Yeah, a stylus. Wow, that's one for the Fines Liaison Officer. You know, the Saxons did come after the Romans. You know, they said, oi. We're leaving, we're going back to Rome. You can have our houses if you like. And uh, they took over. So yeah, that well, nice, nice sort of hammered look about it. It's not particularly white though, that's the only concern. You know, normally things that old are a bit more white. It looks like it's had white on it. Right, lovely jubbly. On to the next. Oh, I got something in here. No, it's not in that bit. It's right there. Oh, did I see something then? Still in there. Oh, we'll get there eventually. Oh, what's that there? Hey. Hmm, what's that? Is it a bit of a cradle bell? It might be a bit of a cradle bell. Or it might be something else. It's got a funny looking edge there, look. Can you see that? Funny looking lines in there. Right, that could be ancient. That could be ancient, could be Roman. Right, on to the next. Oh, I've got a lovely signal here. Twenty-two thirty-one. Mm. Give it a couple of scoops. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a root. A bit bigger. A bit big root. A lovely signal. It could be something really nice. Could be. Possibly. Oh. 
I just see a bit of rust. I thought I saw rust. Can't be. That was a good signal. It's in there. Oh. Was in there. Oh, it's in here. Right, it's in there. Could be a hammy. Oh, hammered! Woohoo! It's a hammered coin. Lovely jubbly. I've had one for ages. Oh, it's a hammered coin. Oh yeah, it's when I got that little tiny ball, I thought, yep, yeah, we're onto a hammy. Oh, let's do the big reveal. Uh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that one there then? Who is that? Don't rub the coin. Oh, I don't recognise that one. It's quite small. Let's have a look at this side. Oh, it's an Elizabeth. It might be an Elizabeth. Right. I'm going to get that cleaned up. And uh, we'll have a little look together. Is it an Elizabeth? Uh, uh, N A N A. Right, yes. A hammered coin. Right. I'll go and get it cleaned up. Well, I think it's supposed to be that way up. No, no, the other way up, sorry. <laughs> I'm just about to see the shield. Right, now who's that? Who's that? I'm not sh Oh, that's me pesky pinpointer on. That's me getting excited, that is. Forget to turn it off. Right, it's a penny, obviously. And, um... I'm not entirely sure that that's uh, Elizabeth on there. Um, it could be a James. Or it could be someone else. It's got a little crown up on the top there. It's got N.A. for Regina. Is it Regina? Something like that. But anyway, lovely little hammy. Um, I've had one for ages, at least over a month. Well, eight weeks, probably nine weeks. Yeah, probably nine weeks. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and show the landowners, see what they say. See if they can, I'll leave it with them and see if they get them to ID it. They go on the computer. Lovely jubbly. Right, that's where I just had the uh, hammered coin and I've been doing a bit of searching around it. I reckon this is going to be a nice uh, horseshoe. <laughs> you hear that sound? It sounds like it's skidding.
sounds like a car skidding down the road. Um, that's that's a good indicator that this is iron. I'm going to dig it anyway, and we'll see what it is. Ah, nice horseshoe. A nice Middle Ages horseshoe. <laughs> Possibly. I've got to dig it just in case it's a hoard of 50,000 hammered coins. But uh, me thinks this is going to be iron. Oh. Right. See a bit of rust. Right, let's try that. Yeah, I definitely think it's out. Uh, can I see something? I can. Yeah, it's just an iron bar with a little lip just there for some reason. So just a piece of cack. But I got to, I got to do all these signals now around where I found the hammy just to make sure uh, I've not got a scattered hoard. No, twelve twenty-six. Right, let's get you a bit closer. Well, I'm about 10 feet away from where I found the hammy and I got a banging signal here. Oh, right in the middle, like, like it's gold. Oh, right there, right there. Get some of these roots out of the way. Hammered gold would be nice. Oh, oh what's that? It's a leaf. <laughs> it's a leaf. It's a pesky leaf. Oh. Oh, it's out. It's out. Right, it's down here. Oh, let's get that out of the way. What's up there? Hmm. It's right here. Ooh. Ugh. I wanted hammered gold. Still, that's unusual shape. Normally they're sort of roundish. But that looks quite old. Could be even be Saxon. So it's a Saxon stylus. And perhaps even a Saxon iron buckle. I reckon if I've got a graveyard, I'm getting near to the centre of the Saxon village. that made of? Is it coppery bronze? It's got file marks, look, file marks. It's old. Oh, 
What's that there? Is it an annular buckle? See the bulge bit there, look? Is there a groove? Hmm. Is there a groove for the pin? Yeah, I reckon that could be, uh, that could be Saxon as well. I'm getting nearer to the Saxon village. Lovely jubbly. Cool, look what I just found here. Oh. Is it a thimble? No, it's not a particularly old one. But it is indeed a thimble. Right, I'm starting to flounder a bit now, my love. This is quite warm today. And I'm not used to this heat. So I feel like a few cold lagers beckoning. Because it's definitely a lager day. Oh, oh, I found some shade under a tree. Fraxus excelsior. It's an ash tree. That's Latin, by the way. Latin for ash. Oh, oh, I've had an air cut. Yeah, I got the clippers out last night. After me live stream. Right. I got a bottle of beer. I was going to have lager, but um, the landowner has given me a bottle of beer. Ooh. Yeah, tunnel vision. Uh, the Box Steam Brewery. It's a tunnel going through a uh, um, box. There's a big long tunnel that Isambard Kingdom Brunel built through uh, that goes around Bath and a big long tunnel. Back in the day, in the 1800s, I got me lager glass and me beer glass and I got a bottle opener. They gave me a bottle opener to use. <laughs> Right, up there. Oh, oh God. it's hot weather. I know what you Australians are going to say. Oh, this ain't hot. 40 degrees is hot. Yeah, but over here it's like humid, isn't it? Super humid. It's about 80% 80, 80 humidity. And, uh, you know, it's uncomfortable like. I've been in France when it's been 42 Celsius and uh, it's like it's like living inside an oven <laughs> you know on low heat not on the full power obviously but you get off the plane and bang you got that face of heat like you know wow that sort of heat like. but 42 is just you can't do anything well, you can't do much when it's 42. But yep, this looks like a nice drop of stuff. I would get up, but I'm knackered. Nice amber coloured beer. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This came, apparently, this came from one of my pubs I vacate. Yep, one of the pubs. They're going to open up a little off-license tomorrow and uh, the shop will, they'll turn in the pub into a shop so that you can go in and buy beer just to help keep them afloat until the uh, the lockdown is uh, passed over and uh, they start opening the pubs back up. Yep. Box Steam Brewery. What does it say? When in 1841 the two ends of the box tunnel met underground, there was less than two inches error. Two inches error. Now this is in the 1840s. You know, they didn't have like uh, laser guided uh, you know, scopes to uh, get it just perfect. Yeah, this was a feat was largely thanks to the extraordinary vision of Isambard Kingdom Brunel, our country's greatest engineer. But if if you're if you're a foreigner, 
Uh, yeah. The box tunnel. You can look it up on the net if you like. Ah, two inches of error. <laughs> this this tunnel's like got to be over a mile long. Back in the 1840s, amazing. Oh yes, it's much cooler, and this this grass is considerably longer. It's up here than when I was last detected in this field. Yeah. But I have a good day today. I found a hammered coin, a stylus. I'm getting closer to the centre of the Saxon village. Now, I want to find the centre of the Saxon village because I reckon the finds there will be spectacular. Oh! Yep, cheers landowner, cheers. Right, I'm gonna have a, a rest. Oh, and it's gonna be a bit cooler tomorrow, which will be nice. And come out here, metal detecting, it'll be a little bit cooler. I'm gonna finish this here beer, and probably have a can of lager as well. Because I did bring some lager with me, some Stella Artois. Um, and uh, I'm going to relax and then i got to go home and cook tea for me dad he wants a barbecue so we've got some venison burgers all the way from New Zealand <laughs> New Zealand venison burgers much better for you than meat like than, than, than beef we've got a lot of fat in beef but venison's very lean I'm going to head off and uh, cook tea and put the video up. So I'll probably be up again like tomorrow because uh, you know that I'm I'm trying to render it uh, in high definition and it uh, it takes longer to render. It takes like three hours instead of an hour and a half. So I'd, I'd like to get it up like just after midnight, but um, I've usually fallen asleep by then. Right. Cheers.